Okay, so physical spec here now in Renderman. So first off here, we have a Pixar surface assigned and by default here, if we take a look, it doesn't have any specular at all. So this is the default. So you can uh, use the artistic mode and that's uh, this face and edge color to dictate how uh, shiny or what type of material. So if you would do edge color, it's gonna be uh, towards the edges here and uh, you can meet up here with some face color. So this is kind of, um, I guess, uh, similar to metalness, but not really because it has face and edge here. It's not really tied into the diffuse in the same amount like the Arnold is, for example. Putting this to physical here, we get a, a, another set of sliders here. We can take the edge color down. And we can see here, now we have refraction index and extinction coefficient. So this is something I usually use. I use the physical mode rather than the artistic when I define my materials, especially now when I've started to use it in Mari with the material system. So let's take a look here. We see here, um, if I go to refraction index 1.5, so it's something like uh, plasticky almost. Let's go back here and take my pixel surface here again. Yeah, so what, what? how do you define refraction index and extinction coefficient? And th this is where databases come in place. And to understand how we uh, derive these values, we need to understand a little about light as well and uh, the wavelength of light so we can understand what to get. Um, so you could essentially look up in a IOR database. So let's take a look here first how we do that so we can define, for example, let's say that I want to create an aluminium. It's good to know where we get these values and what they are, the extinction coefficient and the refraction index. So first off, let's go into Wikipedia and look about light. Yeah, so the visible light spectrum. So what we are interested in here is to find the different wavelength of light. So, for example, we render with red, green, and blue in uh, general, if you are not using spectral rendering, I guess. But in our case, most renders are still red, green, and blue. So here we can see here, red is uh, 625 to 740, I think it's nanometers. Green, 500 to 565 and blue is 450 to 485. So that's good to know when we uh, go into uh, searching for IOR values using an IOR database. So let's do that now. Let's take this refractive index. So for example here, let's say that we are gonna use aluminum or something. So in our case here, we wanna go here to uh, figure out the red first. So we, let's say that it's 700 nanometers and we have to convert it here. It's going to be 0.7 here in the wavelength. And we hit this button and we get here the N here will be uh, the normal. So that's going to be the in random man, that's going to be the IOR for red. So we need, need to uh, write this down. It's going to be 1.9214. Going back to and this is gonna be the extinction coefficient. We need to note down, so this is gonna be red uh, 1.981, and uh, we, have, we need to do the same then for green. So let's say 550 or something, 0.55. So we need to do this for red, green, and blue, and then we get the physical properties of uh, the material. Let's take four or five. So yeah, so that's the way we can define uh, a material. So let's insert this now into uh, Renderman and see how this renders if it looks like aluminium. Okay, so here I actually inserted the values here. We can take a look what values I got here when I inserted those. So let's take a look here at my, uh, so we have 1.9 to 1, 1.015 and 0.633 for the red, green, and blue for the IOR and the refraction index. So, and the extinction coefficient. It's a very interesting word. That. So, so there we have eight 
six and five and with decimals. So that's my values that I got from the physical database and that's kind of plausible. So I guess it's up to me now to start to play here with the roughness slider to see if it's what type of, if it's a brushed one. Let's actually make a uh, GDX out of this as well. Yeah, that's uh, how you figure out a uh, physical spec. So why don't we make a classic gold now before we wrap this and see how that goes. Okay, so here I inserted values for this guy, the gold material. So let's take a look here. We have uh, these values here, 0.169 for red and 0.421 green and 1.373 for uh, blue and extinction coefficient is three, two and one ish with the decimals there. And also here um, it's metal, so there shouldn't be any diffuse. In my previous example, I realized that I had a slight diffuse contribution. So yeah, make sure if it's metal, no diffuse because it's only uh, specular and reflections. So that's uh, good to know. Yeah, so here's a, a gold, so let's play here with uh, some roughness. Let's see if it's a rough metal or if it's shiny. Let's make it pure gold, very shiny gold. And yeah, so that's how you use physical spec in Render Man. So in the next, next episode, I'm gonna make a few materials in the Mori uh, Pixar surface and uh, apply it onto this geometry. Maybe make a smart material using a few different uh, type of uh, materials and also uh, blend them and apply it here quickly using uh, the physical spec mode. Yeah, so if you want to support my channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Yeah, see you on the channel. Bye bye!